Welcome to webbikeworld.com. This time we're taking a quick look at the Bags Connection Evo rear bag. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit webbikeworld.com. The Bags Connection Evo rear bag is a semi hard bag, as you can see, so it looks good stuffed or empty. It has a lot of nice features extra D rings, straps, pockets on either side, a carrying handle in the rear, and also it can be used as a backpack by putting the included straps through the D rings. Let's take a look inside. It's hard to get this all on the video, but you can see it has a semi-hard top with a nice mesh pocket underneath that's about 40 millimeters deep. It has a zip top. The bag uses the YKK RC Fuse zippers, which are super strong and work even if damaged. A couple of backpack straps inside, a waterproof cover that comes with it, and a couple of extra D-rings on nylon webbing that can be attached to the bike fender or other area if needed as anchor points. There's a simple instruction sheet in several languages and even a piece of clear paint protection film to protect the paint on the bike. A couple of desiccant packs keep it dry during shipping. You can see it's a pretty good size, not too big and not too small at 24 liters unexpanded. Expand the top for a full 36 liters of storage. Here's a closer look at the Evo rear bag when it's expanded. Also, the straps that hold the bag top can be easily let out to account for the taller shape. Let's take a look inside. It's a little hard to see the depth because we're in 2D here, obviously, but I'll just grab this can of spray polish to give you an idea of the depth and width. There's actually quite a bit of storage here, and I wouldn't really want it much bigger because this is a very useful size that can still hold a lot of junk and fit on a lot of different bikes. A couple of pockets on the side. They have a waterproof zipper on top, and inside is enough room for sunglasses, gloves, cell phone, and things like that. Pockets are non-removable, and the entire construction and stitching is very nicely done on this bag. It's really a high-quality piece for sure. On the bottom is a fully rubberized surface to grip the bike. A handle on the top makes it easy to carry, and you can also see the D-rings for the backpack straps and the adjustable straps for the lid. Here's the tie-down strap mounting system. They give you these nylon web straps with a sewn-on loop. So you loop the strap around the bike frame or passenger foot peg mount, and then you can run the single end up through the metal spring-loaded grip. Tighten it up, and then the loose end can be folded and stuffed into this elastic loop to keep things tidy, which is nice. The mounting system works good as long as you have some framing or a spare piece on the bike to hang onto. The straps could be longer, and I wish it had a ratchet clamp system, however. Some reflective pieces along the top, and you can see the texture of the outer fabric. Again, this is a very nicely made piece of luggage, and not like some of the flabby cheap stuff we've seen. So that's a quick look at some of the features of the Bags Connection Evo rear bag. For the full review, many more photos, and details on mounting and use, please read the full review on webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.